Hello and welcome to Toneless Paintings by M. Francis McCarthy. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the uh, painting we are doing today is called Towards Dusk and it is a 12 by 16. We, um, we talked about the uh, study for this last week, uh, which was, you know, as per usual, a 5 by 7. And, uh, you know, uh, I was all set up to do a whole other painting that's actually really new, but this is sort of new. I mean, it's from last month. I probably completed it, um, and uh, it's one of the series of six I did uh, last month, and um, I'm currently working on a, another series of six, uh, which is uh, actually I'm working on three things, like this would be the video for the month prior. The month that uh, is just behind us, I've done photography and I'm working through videos, preparing videos from all the different sessions. Um, and all that takes a while. I kind of work on it a bit every night. You know, I do a, a got to composite everything together. And then, uh, the, of course, the thing that takes the longest is um, exporting the video. Um, which I export the video at the same size I uh, filmed it. However, I store my video at a double speed. Um, I would love to store everything at the actual speed, but you're talking about a video that's about, you know, five or six hours long, and that just takes up too much space. So I um, I tend to double the speed, and uh, that that brings it, you know, half half the size, and you know, it's still slow enough that uh, for archival purposes it gives um, myself or the future a good idea how I did that painting and you know I'm a bit I guess I have a obsessive aspects to my personality I think I tend to use it uh, for myself as opposed to being a victim of it um, and I'm pretty obsessive about getting a video recording of each painting I feel pretty bummed out when uh, Oh, I don't know, my uh, my good friend Joe uh, is making a cup of tea, comes to my studio, oh, might accidentally knock something, uh, like unplug it. Or I myself hit the camera and think I'm filming, but I'm not really filming. I am actually have the camera pointed at uh, an easel somewhere in my studio. Or I think... I think I've got the uh, the shot set up in focus and ready to go, but I never actually push record, and I don't hear. My current camera doesn't always beep when it turns off that way, so. Um, but for the most part, I get everything down, and you know, a few gaps here and there. That's not a big deal, and you know, really, who cares? I mean, I think I'm probably the only one that cares, but uh, you know, art does incline one to. Um, some vanity. I mean, why else would you do it uh, if you didn't feel... Well, you could do it. Like, uh, there's a plenty of artists that work, especially in native cultures, that, that do um, crafts and, and, and art, and uh, uh, they work within a tradition where they've been taught. They do things that are remarkably moving and extraordinary uh, without a lot of ego or a lot of personal identification, since they're the continuation of you know a tradition that might go back in their culture for hundreds of years or even thousands of years but uh, you know for the modern artist uh, you know you've got other motivations than that and you've got uh, you sort of pick and choose uh, what traditions you're going to exemplify and what it is you're going to do um, but I like the uh, videotaping just because it's like it's like, uh, it's linear. Uh, the painting itself tends to be non-linear because it contains everything that ever happened to it and is actually still moving through time itself. It's going to age, it'll get scratched, it might dull or brighten or a million different things could happen to the painting, you know, and before it eventually ends up catching fire uh, or, uh, you know, going into the basement of some museum, if you're lucky, you know, who knows, but it's moving through time, it's changing, even though it's not changing as rapidly as when it was actually being created uh, by the artist, um, but it has a lifetime, and uh, it goes through changes after it's left the uh, studio, so, 
That's interesting. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about in the uh, blog post that goes along with this video. We're just going to have to wing it. And uh, those of you that have been following this uh, series of videos and my blog will know that I pretty much wing it every week. Uh, but the way I say it, that's not such a big deal because like, when you're telling the truth, you don't have to remember anything. So I could... Uh, you know, since the focus of what I'm talking about uh, in these videos and on my blog is art and painting, um, I'm going to be pretty consistent in uh, the ideas that I'm uh, promulgating, you know, uh, that I'm putting forth. And uh, that's, you know, I think that's a good thing. And uh, for that reason, I pretty much just pick topics willy-nilly. When I'm really on it, I will uh, have some inspiration. I'll write down a bunch of topics on a piece of paper and... Uh, and talk about those, but we'll come up with something, don't worry, we always do, and uh, a lot of times what I'm going to talk about might be sparked uh, in the uh, the video, the creation of the audio for the uh, video, um, you know, and I'll, I will use the written format of the blog to expand on that, uh, on those ideas. Um, Anyway, uh, how's things going for me in the studio? Like I said, I'm working on another series of six. Smallest one's 10 by 14, and the largest one is another 1824. Um, it's going pretty well. I think I've got one that's just, it's funny how, you know, I mean, I always try starting with the uh, compositing and manipulating, uh, manipulating, <laughs> manipulating of my reference. Uh, I'm almost shooting for the stars, you guys. You gotta know it, you know, but sometimes you just don't hit it and it's not for lack of trying. It's just it's just the way this reality is set up. I think you can't you can't absolutely succeed every time out of the gate. Although God knows there's artists that oh well, like Escher comes to mind and uh, a few others that uh, really hit it out of the park every time, but my main uh, favorite inspiration and genius artist, George Ness, has quite a few paintings that are less than stellar, and it always makes me feel really good, um, because uh, I do too. <laughs> um, this one that we're talking about today, I'm pretty happy with. It, it, I think it's real successful. It's got a nice feeling of light and color and an interesting sky, and uh, actually this is a, um, a motif I attempted to paint back in... in uh, 2012, 2011 maybe, and uh, I think you might, uh, conservators of the future would find the drawing for that painting on the back of probably a more recent painting, but um, it didn't work out, or it might still be sitting in a pile in my uh, studio of uh, paintings I'm planning on painting on the other side of, but um, I, I came across the uh, reference and uh, you know, I felt some inspiration. I felt like I had a handle on how to approach it this time. And uh, that's really what makes a difference. And that's actually probably what I'll talk about in the day's uh, blog post is revisiting motifs, um, which is something I really like to do. And uh, I've been doing quite a bit more since I've been doing these larger paintings. I've been doing, oh, we can see this guy slipping as I'm painting it. Sorry about that. Uh, now we're back. We're back. Although, Hopefully it won't slip. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing some glazing right now, so. A lot of times you can tell I'm doing the glazing. It just looks like I'm wiping my hand very quickly over, like, right now you can see I'm doing black. Um, and I like to use little scrunched up bits of black uh, in the, uh, the tree areas to sort of create a kind of impression of detail. Um, we're going to talk about, in the blog post, we're going to talk about motifs. Anyway, just making a note for myself, guys, because, you know, getting old here, I don't want to forget. Anyway, things are going good. I'm doing first color pass right now, and so far, um, a lot of times I can really tell from the 5 by 7 but, you know, we all have this uh, tremendous capacity for self-deception, and I am not a complete exception to that. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm guilty, but... Um, I'm always trying to really get better and really trying to learn how to evaluate things so that I basically can create more good paintings. Especially now I'm working larger and larger, that means I'm going to be I'm creating fewer paintings. 
uh, which is always a bit, uh, that's one of the th reasons I like doing small paintings, I can do so many more of them. Anyway, you can see we're getting close to the end, thank you. Oh, today, by the way, I think it's August 1st down here in old New Zealand, uh, the ass crack of the planet, and uh, thanks for joining me. You can uh, see more of my stuff at landscapepainter.co.nz. Uh, check that out, and um, we will be back next week with another painting. I've got it all lined up. Uh, meanwhile, take good care, and uh, stay out of trouble.